SneakerCon DC, what's good? We're right here outside the line, waiting to get inside the venue. Let's go ahead and check out how many cars there are outside here. All the way wrapped around the block. All the way to the other side. It goes around the corner, and then we could probably get in when there's a garage. So we're gonna be waiting in line for about 30 minutes. want to talk about the goals for today and tomorrow it's gonna to be a long weekend as you can see we've got a ton of inventory to sell we really bought a ton of stuff that's really what we're trying to do is sell as much as we can I know I'm gonna be in the line trying to cash people out in the trading pit trying to cash people out really just trying to catch as many good deals as possible but we're also gonna be selling a ton of good deals so make sure you come and pull up on us we probably got over 100 pairs, 20 plus pairs of Travis Woods. This is only the first thing off whites. Too. Our table is going to be huge. Looking forward to the clips, looking forward to the videos. See you guys later. Enjoy the video. Two more. Omar with the big boy sales? Pardon me? Nice. Omar with the big boy sales? Thanks to you. Thanks to Ginger the Plugs advice. Maybe they plug the pool. So yeah. I need to see these. Day one of sneaker con is about halfway done. I literally haven't bought anything yet. The reason being is just because I have so much stock. So I'm trying to sell as much as possible right now. And I'm actually doing really good at that. Selling a lot of the kid coat tees, selling a few pairs of kicks, a few things here and there. I'm just trying to clear out my inventory that way I can freely buy as much as I possibly can and not have to worry about having a bunch of stuff packed or not being able to fit everything in the car. And the winner for best floor setup. Alright, set the same. Okay. What's the 
Is this the one that we just tried on? Hold on. Yeah, I tried one of them. I didn't, I didn't think I tried this. Let's see if this is the one. Yeah, I need a little, a little bit of breathing space. Hold on, you tried on the other one. Gotcha. Oh, of course. Boom, and the LA to Chicago's are sold. That, that, that hair on there is not the same as what it's supposed to be. And this material is very thin. How much do you ask for? Eight hundred dollars. Uh, but it's not—it's not authentic. Even the stocker stuff is. Yeah, the stocker stuff. Yeah. It's a good replica, though. Yeah, it's not shiny enough, though. No, it's not. And this—the the red is off on the lock. But it's good to look at. Yeah. Sure. The Lamar kit. That guy's getting I, got you, I got you, bro. I'm gonna have to pass on these, sir. Thank you. What do you go to the legit check booth with me? I said I will. I'm about to flip these first. All right. I got some other ones I need to sell. I'll go with you. I'm leaving the event. It's like one o'clock right now, and there's really nothing better to do. The event's pretty dead. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, when I get back, I'll probably walk around with a few things of inventory. But overall, I'm just glad I sold so much stuff the first day. I've got the few steals over here and there. Some bread fours for a buck fifty. Some really clean flint thirteens for a buck twenty. Some eighty-eight white cement threes for a buck twenty. Just some decent deals here and there. But um, overall, there's not really too much going on. Um, I am excited though for two weeks from now for Boston Got Sold. Now that I've sold all this inventory, I can go over there fresh and just buy as much as I can. And then two weeks after that is another sneaker con. So there's gonna be a lot of things going on, a lot of videos being posted. And um, really just looking forward to that.